So good evening everybody. As I was waiting, I counted that there were 19 lectures before me and I'm the 20th and we are in a T20 era. So remember the 20th over is the most important because that decides which way things will go. And I'm going to optimize cardiorenal metabolic care in type 2 diabetes with a harmonious blend of SGLT2 and DPP-4 combinations. Let's look at the cardiorenal metabolic systems which are interconnected. Cardiac, the heart is the most metabolically demanding organ. The kidneys regulate glucose and volume homeostasis. And metabolic renal, the liver, pancreas and adipose tissue are essential for energy metabolism and whole body homeostasis. So cardiorenal metabolic systems are all interconnected. Let's take a hypothetical patient. Type 2 diabetic uncontrolled on metformin, 38 years old, 2 years duration of diabetes, current metabolic concerns A1C 8.6, roly-poly 29.7, BMI 1000 twice a day metformin, he's got hypertension, he's a smoker, his EGFR thankfully is normal. What are you going to do about this patient? This is where you have to think out of the box. What are the goals of treatment for this patient? Reduce A1C, reduce body weight, reduce blood pressure, reduce CV events, increase the quality of life, improve it, and increase life expectancy. Now, look at the classical Asian Indian. And India, unfortunately, the biochemical profile of the study groups with newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes. HbA1c, clinically diagnosed, 9.1. Diagnosed during screening, 8.3. These are high readings. We have missed the bus by not a couple of years, but by probably half a decade. So look at the cardiovascular risk factors, the micro and macrovascular complications at diagnosis in patients with young onset type 2 diabetes in India. Young onset because we start at 21. In the West, young onset is 35. And the mean age of diagnosis of young onset diabetes, 27 in the third decade, 36 in the fourth decade, and look at the A1Cs in the younger group, 10.1. In the older group, 9.8, with BMI matching. The CV risk factors, smoking doubles, hypertension triples almost, goes to two and a half. The weight remains the same, obesity increases, lipids, and need for statin-based reduction of CV risk. But when we tell them, we say, Hum to aise hi hai. we are Indians like this. So what do we do? If you classify them, the ESC guidelines on diabetes, pre-diabetes and CV diseases, this patient is in very high risk. He has hypertension, obesity and smoking because the classification is very clear. Risk factors being age, BP, cholesterol, obesity, smoking and so many others. Let me take you on a journey. Why is cardiovascular risk reduction, early prevention and the treatment of type 2 diabetes so important? He begins his journey from 15 minus to minus 5 when he comes to 0. He's already carried risk factors for CV disease and he has begun development of atherosclerotic disease. That's when he's entering the development of microvascular complications. What do you want to do? You want to go to traditional treatment or you want to innovate for this patient? Metabolic considerations in the context of the CRM continuum. Appropriate glucose control in patients with newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes was associated with improved outcomes versus diet intervention alone with a CV benefit emerging only over time. 
You can see in the intervention trial, 20 years, and the non-intervention post-trial outcomes where myocardial infarction and kidney failure, retinopathy, and vitreous hemorrhage, all of it improved. So the start is crucial. Look at this, the goals of care. Holistic, person-centered approach to diabetes. Just because somebody sitting in Brussels makes an algorithm and calls it a Fanala algorithm doesn't mean it fits the Indians and your patient. You make the algorithm and you say that in younger people with diabetes, less than 40 years, consider early combination therapy. And if you look at this combination, see how this FDC of SGLT2 and DPP4 complements each other. In the gut, DPP4 increases active incretin concentration. In the liver, it decreases hepatic glucose production. Pancreas, the alpha cells, there's decreased circulating glucagon. And in the pancreas beta cells, there's an increased insulin release from the DPP-4 and an indirectly increased insulin secretion from the SGLT2. The muscles indirectly increases glucose uptake and kidneys, we know what SGLT2 does. But this is the shopping basket of the poor Indian who has got a lovely job, a new marriage, but he's got diabetes and now hypertension. So the expert opinion, optimum clinical approach to combination use in the Indian diabetic setting after lifestyle modification, which is written, never practiced by the patient, you have to look at people uncontrolled on metformin, patients who are naive. And this is where you see Uncontrolled on metformin monotherapy, A1C more than 8.5. And if you use this combination, the low baseline A1C, you see a drop of 1.19 with the full dose. And in the high baseline, 1.84 full dose. So you get a very significant. So at 8.5, if you give a full dose, you'll come to under 7. Now, the early achievement of goal and the durability of action with this Empalina fixed dose combination in type 2 diabetes on metformin background. Even at 8% baseline A1C, only FDC arm could reach the target A1C and the reduction was sustained up to 52 weeks. It was early. As you can see, it was sustained for 52 weeks and it remained 6.8 to 7. So it delivered the goods. You wanted to prevent complications, cardiometabolic renal. Potential pleiotropic effects, we know them all. The body weight reduction and the BP reduction. Complementing each other, Lina and Empa work together. So the ADA standards of medical care in diabetes 2023 for adults with type 2 diabetes and ASCVD on indicators of high risk or CKD or heart failure. The most important thing is to avoid therapeutic inertia. You must reassess your patient. You must modify treatment regularly. What you read at the bottom Everybody knows these are the algorithms. The message is reassess, be aggressive, and if you have to begin with the combination, begin, hit hard, hit early, and get results. The CRM risk reduction for patients with ASCVD indicators of high risk. Look at Empareg canvas declared to me. Everywhere you can see that the three-point risk reduction in SGLT2 inhibitor CVOTs with the presence of ASCVD is beneficial. Patients with multiple risk factors, canvas and declare, again, are beneficial. 
What about EMPA, which has demonstrated a significant reduction in the risk of CV death in patients with type 2 diabetes in CVOTs? EMPA is way up to the left. Canvas also is there and declare also because it's a class effect. But EMPA is a swing. So early and sustained 38% relative risk reduction in CV death. With Carmelina, Lina Chiptin, it showed a reassuring CV safety profile. You can see Saver TV exam in TCOS Carmelina. It was in hospitalization for heart failure that the needle moved more for Carmelina as against the others. I don't want to talk about Saver Timmy. So it's a question of mind over matter. You have metformin, you have your traditional thinking, and what may be the benefits if you use this combination? Patient would benefit from HbA1c control with this SGLT2 DPP4, which is EMPA and LENA, and further blood pressure reduction with SGLT2 like EMPA gliflozin. Weight reduction effect of EMPA may improve his general health. Remember that hypothetical patient had a BMI of 29 and it would motivate him to adhere to treatment. And the SGLT2 EMPA with demonstrated CV and kidney benefits, my previous speaker talked in glowing terms where the study was stopped because the placebo group should not suffer. So this may slow the progression of long-term complications associated with type 2 diabetes. In fact, the EMPA-REG study signaled a revolution in the thinking of physicians and therapeutic doctors because it started people thinking, how can you get CV benefit? Then, of course, the can of worms opened out and we now have a Pandora full of drugs. But when you combine this with Lena Glipton, you can see that traditional thinking has gone with the wind and you can diffuse the time bomb with the right solution and that is optimize cardiorenal metabolic care in type 2 diabetes with a harmonious blend of SGLT2 DPP-4 combination. Thank you. I have two balls to spare still. 20th over.